So basically, that's what's happening. Good morning, Gregory from the Bestag here. So basically, I saw this video from Sylvester Stallone on his Instagram. And I was like, what? What is this? And immediately, my first thought was, maybe I should do a reaction. And then I thought, no, let's stick to kettlebells. But then I saw more plates, more dates react to it. I saw Greg Doucette react to it. So now I'm going to do a reaction inception and react to everything. <laughs> it's, man, I love Sylvester Stallone, but what's going on, man? <laughs> it's crazy what he does. So basically, that's what's happening. Good to see he's still acting. <laughs> what is the hell is he doing? <laughs> and you, you drop him like this. You know how dangerous this may be if this lands on your foot or it slams the equipment. That's what celebrities do, man. And listen, I love Sylvester Stallone. I love Rambo. I love Rocky. I grew up with that stuff, man. This is not hating on him. This is just well, what, what do you have to prove? It's, it looks, looks strange. <laughs> So, dude, like, he's about to violently drop the place. They could bounce yep. back, smash him in the fucking knee. They could like hit the camera guy. Like, who knows what's going to happen? And what would the point of this be other than to show off, you know, what your, you know, feat of strength is? It's, you know, obviously a, you know, testament to his fitness at the age he's at. I'm saying the same thing. And <laughs> check out this comment. Was he acting or is he serious? <laughs> The danger of dropping these plates. And yeah, he mentioned maybe they hit the camera guy. Like I said, the equipment. Even worse, hitting himself, hurting himself in the process. I've tried it. I'll try it harder than last time. Wow. Is okay, it that so I gotta try this. Donkey ball, so I'm gonna switch into 35 pound plates. Alright. I gotta try this. I'm not an incredibly strong dude, but the lifting mechanics like Greg mentioned, shoulder flexion, outside your center of mass, impossible. I challenge a strong man to do it and see how he does it. Strong man, they probably maybe, I don't know, maybe Brian Shaw can do it, but the two 12 kilograms and it's impossible. So yes, I can get up, the shoulder flexion, but then, Ugh. Let's try it with two eights. I love Rocky. I grew up with that stuff. Like I mentioned, I'm an 80s kid. I was born in 1984. So, he's my hero. Rocky, Rambo, these are my heroes. But I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this is fake. Greg is a professional. More plates, more dates. He didn't do it. He didn't try it by himself. I tried it by myself. So I, I will consider myself a professional. So trying this and realizing after a few milliseconds that this, this is impossible because of the lifting mechanics involved and because of the injury risk, of course. I mean, if you don't get the plates off the ground, you're safe. Yet, if you do get them off the ground somehow and then you lift them and then you drop them, you may hurt your shoulder, you may hurt yourself in the process, the plates drop or whatever. So if you have beginners or, or, or fans of, of, of his, of, of Stallone, and followers who think, okay, let's try this. And then they hurt themselves because they're so big fans of Stallone and think, okay, I got to do this myself with even lighter weights. You see, I, I chose two eight kilogram kettlebells. I, I said, I'm not a very strong dude, but this is, this is nuts, man. And it goes to show once again, why we need 
peer review again. <laughs> I don't know. I call this peer review. I Maybe I call it peer review because reactions do get some kind of negative touch to it. I like peer review way better. And I think it is important because look at what celebrities do. I mean, Stallone's, Stallone's in his, what, mid-70s? And he still looks great. He still looks awesome. He still looks strong. He's still lifting. The dude's awesome. There's a saying that goes anything for the gram. So that means people post everything that they can on Insta or social or TikTok or YouTube or whatever to gain popularity. And it seems like even celebrities fall for this. Sylvester Stallone, I love you, man. I think you're awesome, but that's just stupid. And guys, don't take advice from celebrities. It's it's not the best thing to do. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it. Consider subscribing if you want to see more Cat About content. And if you're looking for a program that builds you up from a beginner to an advanced trainee in the course of about three months, and you want to combine it with some easy-to-follow nutrition coaching because you're saying maybe you want to lose weight or you want to get in shape a little bit, then consider checking out 90 Days of Kettlebells. you find the link in the description. 14-day free trial included.